Hi everyone, John Sawash here. Today I'm going to show you how to effectively use uh, Google Talk or uh, Google Chat um, to communicate with other people in an instant messaging uh, type of way. I'm going to go ahead and log into a Google account. And um, when you log into your account, uh, your chat will uh, sign in as well. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes longer for chat to sign in. Um, the chat is typically found on the left side, bottom left side of your screen, um, just underneath all of your um, different uh, folders um, or tags. Um, and uh, below that, there will be a list of people that you've added to your contact list that you can chat with. Um, this account here doesn't have anybody added, so the first thing you'll need to do is request or send people an invitation so that they can um, accept it and you can begin chatting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, you do that based on email address. It will look through your address book as you begin typing, so you find an address that you want to add, and then you uh, click on the invite to chat uh, link and an invitation will be sent. Now I just invited myself, so I'm going to go and show you what an invitation looks like so when you receive one you'll know uh, what it is. Um, so this is my personal email account here and if you look uh, my chat window I've got a lot more folders so it gets pushed down a little bit. You'll see an invitation here um, and it says do you want to accept this invitation yes or no. Uh, once I say yes if I flip back to that other account, you'll now see that um, this account is now active and the green icon indicates that I am online and available to receive messages. So that's um, a neat way that you can communicate with other people. Um, Google Chat is not just text or instant messaging. Um, it also includes video chat and um, a very brand new addition is the opportunity to do a Hangout in Gmail. Now currently uh, this is being rolled out to all of um, Google's uh, products. It's available for um, commercial Gmail accounts, not yet available for all Google Apps accounts. So this may not appear for everyone quite yet. Um, there, when you open a chat, very simply you just click on the person that you wish to chat with and then you'll have uh, several options. Uh, by default, the um, text chat opens up and you can send a message. And um, the person receiving the message will be notified by an audio uh, tone if they have that enabled and then it will appear in their uh, Gmail account. So we can see how that works there. Um, if you'd like to do a, an audio chat, you can do a voice call uh, by clicking on the telephone icon. The uh, other person will need to have a microphone um, on their um, computing device so that they can uh, send and receive audio signal. Um, to the left of that is the video chat. Um, this account here does have the Hangout option enabled, so clicking on that will actually uh, launch a Google Plus Hangout. That may not be true for all accounts quite yet, especially for Google Apps accounts uh, for specifically schools or businesses. If um, For those um, users, instead of the little uh, camera icon, you'll see uh, a video icon there that will just launch a, a pretty standard video chat. still works very, very nicely um, that you can communicate with someone else. Um, keep in mind that the other person will need to have a webcam in order for that to work uh, in two ways. You can do a group chat as well by clicking on the little person with the plus. You can add uh, a second or a third individual to this chat, um, and so you can communicate uh, with multiple people. So um, that's a pretty neat thing. Um, uh, if you want to remove someone from your chat list, you can click on the more and then uh, block them so that uh, they don't appear in your chat list anymore. Also, if you're working and you don't want to be disturbed, um, you can adjust your um, privacy settings. Um, right now, the green icon indicates that I'm available. If I click on that, I can set it to busy and um, I won't be able to receive messages. So if someone tries to chat with me, um, it'll say that they're not available um, and you can choose to ignore them or to go on the record and um, receive that message if you choose to do so. Google Chat's a great way to send quick communication uh, to other people. Um, for an education setting, it's an excellent way, especially for online um, instructors, to kind of have those informal conversations with their students 
um, throughout the day as they see them working. Uh, for students, it's a great way to ask questions of teachers if you see that they're online um, and get immediate feedback and response. A neat thing about Google Chat is that it is archived and it is searchable. So just like you would search for an email message, um, if you search for uh, a person's name, so for example, if I search from and then my email address, um, it's going to list um, the transcript of the chat that I just had a few minutes ago. So that's great. So you can um, refer back to that if uh, there's important information in there, or if you need to document uh, the conversation that was uh, that was had. Uh, so those are included in the search. So that's a brief overview to Google Chat. Um, hopefully that's a useful tool.